good morning and welcome to another la vlog i hope you guys are all doing well i just woke up like 15 minutes ago so if i look a little bit tired and sleepy that's why and today is september 24th it's 8 18 in the morning i got into la yesterday and like i mentioned in a previous video i'm kind of going back and forth between la and the bay area and this time i'll be in la for another week and a half to two weeks and the reason I'm going back and forth is because for me, working in fashion, there's a lot more job opportunities and projects here in LA versus up in the Bay Area. Silicon Valley is like the perfect place to be for what my dad does in tech and things like that. But for fashion, it's not so great. And LA is like the next closest city, so that's why I'm always here. But I also don't have a place in LA at the moment, so I'm kind of hotel hopping. That's why if you always see me in different hotels, I'm kind of trying out different places and trying to find my second home away from home. I did have a hotel in Beverly Hills where I always went back to each time I came to LA, but that was also the hotel where I got all of my bed bug bites or mosquito bites. I still don't know what it was exactly, and they didn't handle the situation very professionally, so I don't plan on going back there anytime soon. And I was at Sunset Tower Hotel. I liked it there, but the location wasn't my favorite. I still love going back there for dinner or lunch because it's such a cute place to go for dinner. And now I'm at La Pierre Hotel, which is also in West Hollywood. And I love this hotel's location a lot more. And it's also very cute and chic. It's like a contemporary style. And they have these cool light fixtures above the beds that I really like. This morning, I'm heading over to my hairstylist apartment slash studio because he's going to do my hair and we're gonna do some braids. Then I'm gonna come back to the hotel and do my own makeup. And I have a photographer coming over this afternoon to help me shoot a few looks and projects. So I am going to get changed and call my Uber and head over there. I just finished my makeup and changed into the first look out of the four that I'm shooting today. And this is by far one of my favorite outfits I have ever worn, without a doubt. I'm just so obsessed with it. And the coolest part is, is that this shirt and pants is actually made out of airbags, which sounds kind of crazy, but that's what I love about fashion and all these designers. They come up with the coolest and most creative ideas. Like who would have ever thought to make clothing out of airbags? I want to show you guys this up close because I think it's just so interesting. And it's by this Japanese designer called Kanguk. I'm not sure how to say it, but I'll definitely link it down below so the shirt has this really cool red bleeding throughout and there's like a barcode thing that goes down the side and the pants is actually really comfortable and it's more white toned and then there's also this barcode on the side and down the front of the leg i paired it with these chunky prada cloudburst sneakers and so this is the first outfit and i'm gonna go shoot this and then change and i'll show you guys each of the looks this is the second look and the dress is from Simone Rochas. I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly again. Apologies if I did not say it properly, but I love this dress. It's so fun. It's like blue. It's very comfortable and it has this kind of like balloon shape, which is what the designer is known for. And the shoes I'm wearing is from Amina Muadi. They are the mirrored holographic slingback pumps, one of my favorite Amina Muadi shoes. And for earrings, I'm wearing this little candy and the brand is called Safu. They're actually not very heavy and they're clip-on, which is nice. Now we're on to the third look and I'm wearing a suit from the Frankie shop. I love this oversized fit and the light gray color is really nice as well. This bra top is from Zara and I'm carrying one of my favorite Chanel boy bags. It's this white and silver ombre lizard and it has that chevron pattern on it. And the shoes are the Balenciaga knife pumps. 
Here is our last look and if I'm being completely honest, this is probably my least favorite outfit out of all the ones that we shot today just because it's a little bit more boring and basic. It's like your classic outfit, sweater, trousers, belt, nothing too special and I just prefer those more special, unique and different pieces like the airbag outfit for example. That was one of my favorites and I'm still shooting this anyways because I have to do it for a brand. So the sweater I'm wearing is from Mango. This belt is Louis Vuitton and it's quite an old Louis Vuitton belt actually from several years ago and the trousers are Gerard Darrell. And it's a little bit later now and I just finished my lunch. I kind of had my usual stuff like tofu skin, crackers, nuts, and other random snacks so I didn't bother showing you guys because it's nothing interesting or at least nothing that you haven't already seen before and now I'm about to head down to the gym because the gym at this hotel is actually open which is really cool because I missed going to the gym and how they have it here is they do reservations by per hour so you just have to reserve time slots and my time slot is from five to six so i'm about to head down there now so i will see you guys tomorrow good morning i am currently sitting on the floor of my hotel hallway because housekeeping is servicing my room and they ask us to please step out when housekeeping is in there so i'm just going to be waiting in the hallway for 15 minutes and thought i would talk to you guys for a little bit and this morning I had a very exciting Zoom call and I can't wait to share the details of it with you guys. And also last night I ended up sleeping with my braids in because today I'm meeting up with a friend and we're going to shoot two more looks for H. Lorenzo. Two of the outfits from yesterday were also from H. Lorenzo. I'm shooting a few things for them. And I have a sushi outfit this time. It's like a denim men's set and there's like this fun sushi print all over it. For men's clothes, they look very oversized on me, but you can just easily clip it and then you can't really tell in photos. And so we're gonna go to a sushi restaurant and I'm gonna be wearing sushi and eating sushi, which I think would be so fun. And then after that, I have a gym session booked at the hotel. I'm actually really excited to be able to work out now when I'm in LA. So after housekeeping leaves, then I'm gonna go do my makeup, get changed and head over to the sushi restaurant to meet my friend. I never thought I'd say this, but I am wearing sushi. How amazing and cool is this denim sushi set? I am so obsessed with it. And there's like a tamago nigiri here, ebi nigiri, and then on this side, there's like an avocado roll and some toro and some fish eggs and cucumber on the jeans it's like the same print and then on this leg there's a big hand roll so this is the first look out of the two that i'm shooting for h lorenzo this morning the second look is this really cool neon look that i think you guys would also love but i'm gonna bring it in the car and i'll change when i get to the restaurant after i finish shooting this all right let's see which sushi we should get to match my outfit i think we're gonna get an avocado roll and maybe also the ebi shrimp nigiri we ended up getting the tamago which is egg and then this is ebi shrimp and an avocado roll the avocado roll looks like a little bit different than the one on my jacket but that's okay That is 
a wrap for today and I'm back in the hotel changed into my comfy robe and all the clothes are on the bed so my bed looks like a huge mess good thing housekeeping came otherwise it would be a nightmare but I want to show you guys the designers and the brands before I pack them up and bring it back to H. Lorenzo just because I want to bring awareness to these lesser known brands I feel like they deserve a lot more attention since they make such cool interesting and special pieces so let me show you this neon green look is from a brand called Kuwaitin Editions and I believe the belt is also from the same brand I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure it is so it's the dress and the vest and then the sushi look the designer is a Japanese designer which makes sense but it's called Double. It's been a few days since I last vlogged because my camera actually broke. I dropped it and then the screen fell off. I have that like flip screen, you know, for vlogging. And so I took it to get fixed and now it's all fixed. So I'm currently at the nail place because I have to get a new manicure. I am shooting a project for Tiffany's and so I want to get some nice nails to wear the jewelry. I wanted to give my nails a break because I have gel extensions and I wanted to take it all off and let it breathe but then I had this project and I was like one more time let me do this manicure just for the shoot and so here I am and I think I'm gonna do something more classic probably like classic French or a chrome color I'm not really sure yet I am back at the hotel now and I ended up doing a rose gold chrome which I think is really cool and the jewelry that I'm shooting for Tiffany's is all rose gold so I think it will match perfectly. The hotel also got the jewelry delivery just now so let's take a peek and see what we have. It's the new T1 collection and this is the rose gold diamond bracelet and this is another bracelet. This one does not have any diamonds and this is a half diamond and half no diamond bracelet and then we have a few rings as well. Good morning. It is almost 10 o'clock and I woke up about an hour ago. I started my day by checking some emails and also scrolling through Instagram, watching people's stories, and it makes me so sad that I'm actually not there this season for Fashion Week because Milan Fashion Week just ended and Paris Fashion Week started today. So I've just been watching everyone's stories and I wish I was there, but hopefully everything will be better and start improving so I can go in February. So I wanted to show you guys my morning routine. Then I'm going to head to the gym and then start hair and makeup. Then we have the shoot and that's kind of the plan for today. Because I'm vegan, I need to take B12 and I used to take this little gummy vitamin but instead I do this B12 organic spray now and it looks like this. The brand is called My Kind by Garden of Life. So I just do one spray of this and then it tastes kind of like a berry flavor. And then I have this propolis throat spray, which is this new thing that I actually found at Erewhon a few days ago. And what it's supposed to do is it kind of coats the inside of your throat to prevent like bacteria and germs from entering. It doesn't have any weird taste, it just tastes like honey and you do four sprays of this. And last but not least, I have this little vitamin protein bite thing. I like how these taste and they're fun to eat. Sometimes I eat like three per day, even though you're only supposed to eat one because I think they taste kind of good. Now I'm going to head down to the gym to do a little workout before my day starts. And tomorrow I'm actually doing something that I'm very excited about. So there's this place here called Dog Pound. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it or not. If you live in LA or New York, you probably have. It's like this gym where a lot of celebrities actually like to go there and models to train and, you know, get ready for the runway. 
So they opened in LA a few years ago. At first, they only had a place in New York, but I think like two years ago, they opened in LA. And I've always wanted to try it, but never got the chance to. But the hotel that I'm staying at called the Lapeer, they partner with the Dog Pound and the Dog Pound is actually like less than a block or so away from the hotel like walking wise so it's very close and they helped me arrange a session tomorrow and i will of course bring you guys along and show you guys what it's all about and you guys know i like to work out and i also like to eat but i also eat very healthy so it's kind of all about balance work out and eat and i am actually going to change and get ready to go to the gym now I just finished at the gym and this is the first look that I'll be shooting. I changed into it and I'm going to put on a robe and head to hair and makeup. So I'll show you guys quickly because my lift is waiting downstairs for me. This corset is from Dion Lee and I'm really obsessed with it. I love the lace detail and then these pockets. It's so cute. I'm wearing some black trousers and the shoes are the Prada Cloudburst ones. finally back at the hotel and I'm kind of tired and hungry because it was a long day but I know we got some really cool photos we took some on film and also with a Polaroid camera which is kind of fun and so the film ones we need to wait a few days to get developed but I saw the Polaroid ones and they look amazing so we ended up shooting four looks and two of them were for Tiffany's and the other two were just some cool outfits that I had that I wanted to shoot before I take off this hair makeup, I want to know what you guys think of the hair because I've never really done anything like it and I'm kind of into it. It's giving me like Barbie vibes and I don't know, I love it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I also received quite a few packages from the hotel today so we can do a little unboxing later. But first, I want to eat something and then also put away and clean up all the stuff from the shoot before I make a bigger mess with the unboxing. My room is now clean, I ate some food, and I also took off my makeup and tied my hair back because the hair was kind of getting in the way while I was eating. I was eating hair and food at the same time, which was not so pleasant. And now it looks like I have two little space buns. So we can now go on to the unboxing. But before we start with these packages, I want to first show you guys a pair of Prada sneakers that I got from Saks a few days ago. These are the shoes and I've been really into this kind of chunky platform sold shoe lately whether it's boots or sneakers. I don't know why because I didn't really used to like this style before but now I feel like it's becoming a thing and I'm seeing them everywhere and it's like growing on me. So I came across these and I thought they were so cute. I got the beige color and they came in a white, a black, a beige, a pink, and a blue. But I thought the beige was the most versatile and I was lucky they had my size. It was actually the very last shoe that they had and it just so happened to be a 37 and a half, which is what I wear in these Prada sneakers. So they run pretty big if you guys are interested in getting them. And it's a nylon material like the Prada nylon. And I thought they were just a nice addition because I actually don't have many beige shoes or beige sneakers in general. And beige kind of goes with everything. This is a top that I got from Essence. It's very difficult to tell what it looks like. It looks very strange. I think I have to put it on or show you guys a photo because, I mean, you just can't really picture it. It's two pieces and basically it has these like cutout things. I found a photo so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like because you definitely cannot tell from me holding it up. It basically has these cutout details which I think is really cool and interesting and it's two pieces. So one piece underneath and then another piece over it and then it makes these little cutouts 
this next package is from Zara and I saw this sweater on Zara and thought it was such a nice cute and cropped knit it's just a very thick chunky gray knit sweater and it's super cropped and the sleeves are also cuffed which I thought was a cute touch and the other piece from Zara is this red crop top it kind of has this like crossover design in the front and it's very stretchy and ribbed I believe this also came in like a white and a black but I have a lot of white and black tops so I thought the red would be a little bit more different I was just very into that kind of v-shaped cut thing that they had going on for this top The next piece is this blazer from Burberry and I actually found it on the Webster. It's kind of like a little boutique that carries a bunch of different brands. And I first came across this blazer when I was actually in London earlier this year, but they didn't have my size, so I didn't end up purchasing it. And then I came across it again and it's actually on sale now, which is such a cool thing. And of course I had to grab it because they had my size. It has this little Burberry kind of address logo Thing here which I thought was interesting and it's all white and it has these two snap buttons in the front I actually really like snap buttons because they're super easy to open and close and put on and off clothing especially when you have longer nails these nails aren't as long but before this set I had an even longer set of nails and it was very difficult to button things and do zippers and stuff and put on earrings because my nails were so long and the back of the blazer is just all plain white and this is our last piece it's a Christopher John Rogers top this is another piece that I have to put on to show you guys because it's so beautiful but you can't really tell how it fits without it being on someone. It has very big puffy sleeves and the front kind of ties across. Let me see if I can find a picture of this one also because it's a piece that you really have to see on someone to understand how beautiful it is. So here is a photo. I'm still not sure you guys can properly see but it basically has a cinched waist and very big sleeves and then the front ties across. I know I really should be trying these on for you guys, but I hope you guys can understand that I've had a very long day and I'm kind of exhausted, so I'm gonna have to try them on tomorrow. But for now, I am actually going to change into some comfortable clothing and head down to the gym to do a quick workout. I know that makes no sense because I just told you I'm tired, I don't wanna try on clothes. But for some reason, I do have the energy to work out, but I don't want to try on clothes. Maybe because I was changing clothes all day long today. So I'm just sick of putting things on, taking things off, and all that kind of stuff. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I look much different than yesterday, but I just got changed because I'm about to head over to the dog pound. It's actually so close to the hotel, only like one block away. So I just walked through this little alleyway behind Maxfields and you're there. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing before I head over there. This top is from ALO Yoga and I love the cutout details on it. It's like all over the sleeve and on the back. And the leggings are also ALO Yoga. They have like this white stripe going down the side and on the front. And my sneakers are APL and it's the marble ones that I got last week from the store. tomorrow like my butt my legs my arms they feel very very tired so now I'm going back to the hotel because they have a stretch lab there and they 
they helped me book a session, which is perfect because after a workout, it's always good to stretch. And I'm like the most inflexible person, so I really, really need it. Stretching felt so nice and so good and honestly, I've always wanted to be more flexible But I just am not very disciplined at stretching my brothers are because they're tennis players So they like foam roll and stretch but I just have not been very good at that But now every time I come to LA I'm for sure going to do it because it's so convenient that La Pierre offers it as a service at their hotel And so now I'm definitely going to book sessions every time I'm here so I can get more flexible and hopefully I can do the splits someday or just touch my toes because I can't even touch my toes which sounds very embarrassing but now I am going to have some food and I'm going to end this vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I was doing in LA this week and please go follow me on Instagram if you don't already and I will see you in the next video bye